So we're here in Montgomery, Alabama with Pastor Delineal Finley of the Southland Baptist Church. And Sarah, we've just met. I know you mentioned you walk uh, two miles a day. Yes, in fact, I do it about two or three times a week. Excellent, excellent. And um, uh, how do you feel that impacts your health? Well, first of all, I hope it gets me to a next birthday because my doctor suggested that walk it is good for me, so I listened to him, and of course, since I have had some uh, close call health-wise, I, I think walking is a good idea. I, I have had a triple bypass in the past. I've had a total hip replacement. I am a diabetic, so uh, diabetic, uh, so I should say, and then, of course, since I walk around, uh, I just feel much better. And I, don't, I don't think you need to let any kind of illness uh, slow you down. Just get up, go walking, because you're starting to feel better. Uh, I do other exercise along with it. I even go to the gym. So uh, I just feel any kind of exercise you can do will improve your chance of getting to that next birthday. And thank you, sir. Uh, now, did was um, was there a time in your life that you didn't exercise as much? Well, I tell you what, there was a time in my life when I didn't exercise as much as I should have. Uh, I'm one of those on and off gym persons there. At one time, I was in pretty good shape. I, I stopped, got sedimentary, just sat down, and, and I paid the price for it. But now that I'm back up walking around, I feel better, and, I, and it's never too late. You know, even if you've gotten lazy, you've been exercising, you sat down, it's never too late to get started uh, again and, and because you'll feel better when you do. Excellent. And uh, food-wise, um, have you changed the food you eat at oh, all as well? Oh, i tell or? you this much. Uh, I'm certainly eating less of it now. In fact, I'm paying more attention to my portions of food. I try to eat uh, more vegetables, fruits of that nature. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, stay away from the fatty stuff as much as you can. Drink plenty of water, by the way. Uh, but then watch what you eat, uh, especially your portions. You don't have to overeat a meal in order to enjoy it. Wonderful. If there was a time in your life where you weren't living as healthy, where, say, you weren't getting as much exercise and you weren't eating as well, what's the difference from then to now when you are getting exercise and eating healthier and smaller portions, drinking more water? Well, I think it's obvious. I mean, well, look, when you start eating healthier, when you start exercising, uh, you feel better. If you don't eat healthy, if you overeat, if you don't exercise, you'll pay the price for it in terms of health issues. I mean, you're certainly going to gain weight. It's going to have an impact on your heart and, and other parts of your body. Uh, so uh, exercise, eating right, certainly eating less, uh, it, 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 it is a better thing for you because you're going to see a visible change in your health. You're going to feel better. You're going to be able to move about more. And so, yes, I, I would I would recommend walking, more exercise, eating right. It'll serve you well. Thank you, sir. Now, one final question. Okay, I've, um, I know in the Bible it says uh, the body is a temple. Um, where do you think, uh, what's the biblical connection to living a healthy lifestyle? How does that translate across well, to you? Well, I tell you what, uh, you, you know, what are you looking at as religious or non-religious? Eating right is healthy for the body, but certainly I am a pastor, so I'm going to look at the body as a spiritual temple. God gave it to us, and we ought to show how much we appreciate God blessing on us uh, by taking care of what he has given us. So that means if if I have to eat right, exercise a little bit uh, to, 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 uh, to do something about uh, showing how much I appreciate God blessing, uh, then so be it. I'm willing to do that. And I would recommend that to everybody else. Take care of what God has given you. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Pastor. I really appreciate you taking the time to um, share your great advice to the world. Good luck on your walk across America. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Take care.